Hi guys, it's Sebastian with Looking, Feeling, Smelling Great. I'm back with another video for you today. Today, I have my very special guest friend here, Kara. Hi. Today, we're going to go ahead and do first impressions of all seven of the Zoologist Perfumes fragrances uh, from these samples. And if you stick around till the end of the video, you'll find out how to win a 11 mil travel atomizer of the latest two fragrances, Macaque and Nightingale, worldwide. So please stay tuned. So, Zoologist Perfumes are based out of Toronto, Canada, and I've known Victor from the fragrance community on Facebook for quite some time now. But it's also awesome that he's launched his own indie perfume line, indie niche perfume line. And he basically uh, contracts out indie perfumers to create the fragrances. So he's basically not the perfumer himself. He basically is a brand and the main guy behind the perfumes, but the perfumers he gets hired and they create a fragrance based on an animal. So the fragrances are not utilizing the animal notes, like... I don't know how you would do a I hummingbird think, note. Yeah, <laughs> I, think, I think the fragrances are more inspired by either the animal itself or its environment, perhaps. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, that's, I think so. that's what I, I got from Which it. Which is an awesome concept, I think. You like it. I love it, I love the design too. I think that the designs are just amazing. Beaver. They're really, really cool. Artwork oh, is just awesome. The packaging is also great. And I shot a video with uh, Ellen Covey, who did Bat. And that's your favorite. You've already smelled Bat then. Yes. All right. Have you smelled the others? I have not. I don't know anything about either of these. Either but you smelled Bat at Tiger Lily, I think, because there's yes. a bottle there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. All right. So shall we start with... Uh, which animal should we start with? Should we start with the latest new, new ones? We should. Nightingale? Yes. So Nightingale is one of the latest fragrances, and um, this looks like a pretty lovely sort of woody floral oriental. Okay. Let's try it. Let's spray it. Nightingale is a bird. I don't know anything about a nightingale, so... Well, Florence Nightingale was a nurse. Oh, this is very nice. It is pretty. Very pretty. What are the notes? So there, I know there's a, a cherry blossom. Ooh. There's a, oh no, plum blossom. Mm. And then there's oud and ambergris. Wow. And woody and musky. This one's actually probably, I've smelled a few it's of these. nice. I like this one, I think the most so far. So yeah, nightingale, I, I like. Yeah, I, I didn't expect it to smell like this when I looked at the notes. And this is one of the ones you'll uh, have a chance of yeah. winning an 11 mil travel atomizer of, along with... And it's with, very unisex. Oh, it's totally unisex. Mm -hmm. It's a floral, but it's unisex. And it's subtle. Do you get a little musky? Mm-hmm. Definitely. Like a white musk. White musk. Nice. No, I like that one. I like the plum with the wood. Woody plum. <laughs> All right. The next one is macaque. Macaque. Now, macaque is a what? It's a monkey. Oh, it's a monkey. Okay. The type of monkey. And they I'm not are very, very familiar with animals. They are, <laughs> <laughs> they're very feisty. These are the ones that will steal your passport out of your backpack. Oh. Yes. All right, and then this was the uh, nightingale. So cute. Do you want to spray? No, go ahead. Okay. You're the designated sprayer. I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Okay, so this one is a sort of a green woody, I believe. Very green. Really? Woo! Wow. Mossy. I'm picking up a really big sandalwood. Or cedar, is that cedar? Maybe cedar. It's something with a, a bit of a bite, right? Is there a banana note? Or am I imagining that? That would be amazing! <laughs> I don't know. Oh, green apple. Green apple? I like this one too. It's really interesting. No, I like this one. It smells a little bit like coffee, but sandalwood tends to tends to smell like sometimes it does, yeah, like cardamom and coffee. So yeah, I like this one too, and I love that monkey. The monkey is really cute. It is cute. This is great. Cool. Macaque. Macaque. Cac cac cac. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do beaver? Beaver. Beaver. 
This was the first one, I think. Oh, this is the new formula. This is Beaver 2016. The new Beaver. I don't know how it's different, but... The Virgin Beaver. <laughs> you know, like, if you're gonna make a Birmingham Gold Beaver, you gotta expect. <laughs> but it's so clean. Well, I remember smelling something really animalic a long time ago. Somebody had given me some samples. It's almost aquatic. Wow. I mean, beavers are aquatic. That yeah, makes sense. Duh. Very okay. clean. <laughs> um, no, I like this beaver. I it's like this not, beaver. It's not, it's not, uh, it's not animalic. No, it's not. I mean, it's supposed to have castorium, but it must come out way later because this is very, it's a, Sort of like a soft, woody aquatic, which makes total sense, conceptually. Do you, do you remember that scene And I think it was in Naked Gun 2 or 2 and a half? Where, <laughs> <laughs> where he was, where <laughs> Priscilla Presley was up on the ladder and then and, 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 uh, Leslie... Uh, and he was like, that's a giant beaver, beaver. or something like that. And then she like passes him down this stuffed beaver. <laughs> and yeah, that was pretty funny. That was funny. <laughs> All right, what animal should we do next? We're gonna do rhinoceros. Okay. Look at this guy. He's an old- I really like the rhinoceros. He's an old army veteran. He's like a, he's a decorated, decorated soldier. To me, to me, fragrances are half packaging. I mean, the packaging sells me on fragrances. It definitely counts. If it's boring packaging, it really doesn't sell me. So these, they've thought, put a lot of thought into yeah, the packaging. Yeah, the design's beautiful. And they're awesome. And just the fact that I'm just obsessed with animals, so it makes a lot of sense to me. Leather. Ooh, wow, I could smell that here. That's yummy. Wow. Is there anything sweet, gourmandy in here? I could have a little chocolatey. Who's the nose behind this? <clears throat> wow. Starts Isn't out really that pungent. Starts out oh, very pungent. rum. Yeah, like a. Wow. The boozy. It started out very I mean, pungent and then it became really well rounded with the booze. Wow, I like this one. I like it too. I think um, beaver and rhinoceros were the first ones. I think so too. There was three I thought. Oh, it's Paul Kyler. Wow, this one's nice. This one has not had a reformulation. Mm -mm. That's beautiful. I'm a fan. You're a fan? Mm -hmm. You like it? Yes. You like rhino? I like rhinos. <laughs> cool. Which animal? Next. Let's do bat. Okay. I love bat. Bat. We all know bat. You've seen the video on this channel. If you haven't, I'll have a link <laughs> below. I shot a video interviewing Ellen Covey of Olympic Orchids, and she discusses the fragrance that she created for um, zoologist perfumes. Oh, she did this. She did this. And I'm a big fan of her line. Now, okay, I'll be honest, this is not my favorite. Okay. Well, I don't like the mildewy kind of uh, damp. The earthiness. Earthiness. I just don't like it. This, the soil notes. I've smelled a lot of soil notes in my life. And I, I'm not sure if you're familiar with like, there's a lot of indie cosmetics companies that do perfume. They do perfume oils or things like mm. that. And it's not, you know, it's a different level of stuff, but there, there's a lot of soil notes in those kind oh. of things. And this is like, if zombies were sexy, <laughs> <laughs> it's very beautiful and it's fruity. It's like dirt like, and fruit. I like it when it's drying down and the fruity notes are coming out more, but the soil just... So you haven't ever wanted to eat the dirt after it rains? Well, I love mushrooms. <laughs> They're dirty. They are dirty. But this is a little... The, the, the dirtiness is a little too strong. It's very for forward. Yeah. It's very forward. But I find this really wearable and comforting. I really like the creation, personally. I think the artistry behind it is awesome. I totally love it. I think it's great. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's do panda next. Panda. Pandas are so cute. They are pretty cute. Have you seen the brown panda? No. There's only one in the entire world. Wow. It's like brown and white. What, did they dye its fur or something? A, no, no, no. I think it's a, 
some type of albinis albinism. Oh. But it's bro like brown brown. Brown 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 yeah. Brownimism? Brownimism. <laughs> you know. Is it brownimist panda? <laughs> But I was like, I was looking at the panda and I was like, that one is way more my color scheme. Mm. So if I, I, like, I, like, I, like, I really like the brown one, I was like, I would totally, I would like have that one. I don't believe in buying pandas, but I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. Green. Bambooey. Oh. Freshy. Very fresh and green. Mm -hmm. Definitely bambooey. There's a little bit of spice in there too. Who did this one? I'm not prepared for anything. Oh, I like this. There's a soapy element too. I think Very that's clean. the tea. Yeah. Green tea, right? Oh, okay. Oh, it's Paul Kyler again. Or is it, is it Keeler or it's, Kyler? I thought it was Kyler. Mm. Yeah. I, I prefer um, rhinoceros more than this one. Rhinoceros is awesome. But this is not bad. I like it. Yeah, I'm just not a fan of this type of scent, but it's really good. Yeah, cool. So we have one more. If you're into tea scents, this is really good. Yeah, tea. I love tea scents. I'm very picky about tea. Yeah. In fact, I don't think there's any tea that I like. No? Oops, not a tea fragrance. Oh. I don't think so. <clears throat> it's just oh. not my thing. So we've got Hummingbird, Hummingbird. and this is Shelley Waddington. I'm like a little dress. <laughs> They're cute. <laughs> very, very cute. Yes. Yeah, these are, I think, some of the best artwork. Yeah, they've got the... The concept is, is The damn. concept, yeah. And like, they've got this sort of like retro also vibe with the, with the animals, which is just totally fresh. What do you call those like profiles of black and white... Um, Silhouettes? Silhouettes, yeah. yeah, yeah. They look like they kind of look like kind silhouettes. Of, yeah, they're kind of, well, they're like silhouetted. There's a little bit of a turn to all of them. They're all three quarters. Ooh, this is very sweet, very floral. Like, oh, it's like a floral That's good. salad. Yeah. Wow. That is good. It's very delicate. Very delicate, yeah. Very pretty, too. Mm -hmm. Would you wear something like that? Maybe, yeah, yeah. Or the it would depend on the, the rhino is more up here. Rhino is yeah. Bad. Rhino is more like I would wear every day. Sometimes you need something that's very pretty and delicate though. Oh, too. totally. Yeah. So I hear that Shelly did this. the latest one, which we don't have here. It's called Civet. She did the Civet. That would, yeah. I bet that's really interesting. Yeah. You've got to love Civet to. to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a picture of an actual Civet cat on there. I think so. That's funny. Yeah. This is sugary. Sugary, yeah. Sugary sweet. Not, like too, not too sugary. Not too, it's not cloying at all. No. It's, no, it's really nice. It's really nice, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. So which is your favorite then? Of course it's going to be bat. Bat. Mine's rhino. Oh, I that's a close second for me. And I like sure. the, I like the uh, nightingale also. I kind of like all of them. They're all good. They are. It's just what mood you're in and what mm -hmm. styles you like. Mm -hmm. So guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Victor Wong, the owner of Zoologist Perfumes, wanted to do a giveaway, and this is a worldwide draw. So now's your chance to have a crack at these fragrances. But what, we, what he's doing is doing two 11 mil small atomizers of Nightingale and Macaque, the two latest ones, not the civet that's just come out, to give away to two lucky subscribers of Looking, Feeling, Smelling Great channel. So all you have to do is put a comment down, put down why you want to win these two as two prizes. Two prizes wins two uh, of those scents in the 11 mil. And put down the country you're in. And in three to five days, we'll run the random.org and select the very first two people on the list. And Victor will get them out to you. 11 mil is a nice size. Yeah, it is a nice yeah. size. And those two are really good ones. They mm -hmm. are. Yeah, so those are really nice. Green woody and sort of floral woody. Floral woody, yeah. Cool. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you for coming by to do this video. Thank you for having me. Guys, please follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Like this video. Please share it. Also, make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on giveaways and uh, videos, of course. You wouldn't want anyone to miss out. Yeah, no way. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be back with more videos. And hopefully, Carol will be back for more videos as well. Always. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Goodbye. <laughs>